हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ गिवन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन और यू कैन से द गिवन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर लीनियर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टू अ सेपरेबल इक्वेशन बाई यूजिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और बाई यूजिंग कैनोनिकल वेरिएबल्स लाइक स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इफ यू आर गिवन द इन्फिनटिजिमल्स एक्स एंड वाई then you can find the transformation equation that will convert your given ordinary differential equation no matter no matter how difficult it is into a separable equation that can be easily solved now students if we had the infinitesimal let me write it down now students if we had the infinitesimals x and y we can construct a transformation or you can say by using canonical variables a transformation that would lead to a separable equation involving r and s now students we will consider that consider uh, we have r and r is a function of x and y and s and s is also a function of x and y and we have defined a transformation in this way okay say this is equation number 1 now students and we required that this transformation is invariant okay and we require one to be invariant now students in the previous lecture we have discussed that if we are to show that a given transformation is invariant then we have to write it in this way like r bar is equals to r of x bar y bar and s bar is equal to s of x bar y bar now students means after uh, uh, if we want to check our transformation is invariant then definitely uh, we have to uh, substitute our given transformation into the original equation and if we get the same answer then we say that the given equation is invariant and you can also check it in my previous videos now students if we differentiate to with respect to epsilon then what we will get like definitely first of all i have to differentiate r bar with respect to epsilon so we we will because r is a function of x bar and y bar so definitely we have to take its partial derivative we can't take its ordinary derivative so i will write here partial r bar by partial epsilon is equal to now we will treat r as partial derivative so we will write partial r by partial x bar and partial x bar by partial epsilon plus partial r by partial y bar and partial y bar by partial epsilon means we have applied the chain rule and find its partial derivative okay in the similar way you can find the partial derivative of s bar with respect to epsilon that will become equal to partial s bar by partial epsilon and first of all uh, partial s by partial x bar into partial x bar by partial epsilon plus partial s by partial y bar into partial y bar by partial epsilon where we have used the chain chain rule now say this is equation number 3 okay now students if we consider if we consider r bar is equals to r and s bar is equals to s plus epsilon then definitely if i take the partial derivative of r bar with respect to epsilon then i will get partial r bar by partial epsilon okay and that is equal to 0 because with respect to epsilon uh, r can be treated as a constant and in the similar way if we take the partial derivative of s bar with respect to epsilon then we will get 1 because here s is treated as a constant and its derivative is equal to 0 and with respect to epsilon uh, the derivative will be equal to 1 now say this is equation number 4 now students if we set like i can write here setting epsilon is equal to 0 in equation number 3 and uh, then after that we will we will use equation number 4 here okay so we will get now students you know that uh, in the previous lectures where i have defined the infinitesimals like uh, where we did the derivation about how we can find the infinitesimals then we uh, describe a condition there that says that at epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y that means that epsilon is equal to 0 our transformation will give us the identity transformation now students if i uh, take epsilon is equal to 0 in equation number 3 then i will get 
on the left hand side definitely uh, by using equation number 4 we will get 0 0 is equal to partial r by partial x bar now at epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y so i will get uh, partial r by partial x as it is and partial x bar by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 plus partial r by partial y because at epsilon is equal to 0 y bar is equal to y and partial y bar by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0. Now students you know uh, this whole term is equal to capital X of xy means this is the value of our infinitesimal x. So I will write here partial r by partial x into capital X of xy plus partial r by partial y and this is the value of capital Y so y of x of y in the similar way uh, students if we substitute the value uh, equation number four here on the left hand side then i will get one and here we will get partial s over partial x and capital x plus partial s over partial y capital y means after substituting all the values we will get these two equations and this is say this is equation number five now students here you can see uh, see that if we had the infinitesimals x and y then students we can all uh, we can find the uh, equation like we can convert our given ordinary differential equation into a separable equation and by using that equation we can easily find out the solution okay now students this is all about this lecture in the next lectures we will discuss that how we can use these two equations and by using these two uh, we will convert our ode to a separable equation now students this is all about this lecture thank you so much